Well, hello and welcome to my podcast. This is Cinemin, the podcast for the fans of the Criterion Collection, international films, art films, and of course, American classics. Please enjoy my channel. Well, hello, folks. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm Daniel Nobre. This is my review from the Criterion Collection, Spine A49. Actually, two movies, Horror Honks, His Girl Friday, and inside also comes the original front page from 1931, Academy Award nominee for three Oscars, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Actor for Adolphe Menjou. That was about the, the front page. So let's look at the package from the Criterion Collection first. I'll be analyzing the films in a moment in the background already playing His Girl Friday. So the package is pretty much like this and artwork here for Randy Glass that make those drawings right here on the cover showing Cary Grant, Rosalind Russell on the cover. Also, as you open, you see His Girl Friday, a digital, a digital transfer and the 4K, this is a 4K, the front, uh, the front page. Of course, this is the Blu-ray edition of those both movies. And in the back, we have some nice picture of Mr. Cary Grant and Rosalind Russell. Okay, now the best for me is the insert that comes inside here. I took it already out to make it easier. Let me move this out. This is the insert of the Morning Post. The Post saves our Williams. Now, that is noticing, there is a date here, January 18, 1940. So I Googled this date because it caught my attention why Criterion folks will print this date. This date is actually the day of the His Girl Friday film is starting in the US. That's the official day, the first time this movie uh, came to play in the US. The price is three cents. And then as you open, of course, you, you can see is a newspaper style. We have His Girl Friday, critic reviews, some photos in there, credits. Then you have the front page, the special session of the front page from 1831. Read this, read, it's really interesting. You learn a lot about those films, okay? I do recommend that you read this. And more photos here. In the back here, this is for the play, 1928 play of the front page and pages right here. Okay, look at that, isn't that neat? Criterion always doing a beautiful job, almost went away, from this. Let's analyze the films right next, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, folks, this is the front page, 1931, directed by Lewis Milestone, as I start the movie and start to analyze and talk about the film. So we are playing the film a little bit in 4K resolution, that's the Blu-ray from Criterion Collection is. So to understand a little bit more of the story, this guy here that comes in the back is Earl Williams, and he's got convicted to, I mean, he's... Right now, he's running out of the jail. He got convicted because he shot a cop. It turns out to be an uh, African-American cop. So this story takes place in Chicago, and the mayor wants to hang him and then give the pardon for him close to the election time in order to get reelected. So Hilde Johnson, which is played by Pat O'Brien in this film, in this version of the film, is the reporter, is the ace reporter from the Morning Post. And he's the one that Walter Burns, the editor, played by Adolf Menjou, we're gonna take a look in some scenes that he played, we're gonna go back to the movie a little more, and so he's trying to rehire Hilding Johnson to do the front page. The thing is, he doesn't want to do the front page no longer because he wants to get married, Hilary Johnson. So he wants to have a, a so-called normal life. So let's go back a little more here to see Adolf Menjou. That's the, the press room. And uh, I think now I'm gonna get there. Yes, there they are together, uh, Adolf Menjou and uh, Pat O'Brien. So he's the editor. He's a reporter now, editor, reporter, and he's trying to really hire him to get back into sell newspaper. The morning, the morning post is like kind of those newspapers that you know we kind of sensationalists, you know, is everything sensational. They don't care much about it, what is true, what is not true at that point. But uh, he's trying to do Pat O'Brien, trying to do a decent job, 
and uh, publish the real story behind what is gonna lead somebody else to death. And uh, in between the tricks of the uh, in the news press rooms and what's going on behind the scenes with the politicians, a lot of corrupt people and all that, everything directed in, in like a comedy. This is a, a fast-paced comedy originally. And Adolf mentioned right here in the bar, trying to convince again Pat O'Brien to come back and work for him. So this is Walter Burns. This is uh, Hilden Johnson. In the His Girl Friday version, of course, his character will be replaced by uh, Rosalind Brusso and Walter Burns will be played by Cary Grant. But in this original version, it's the first time I see this film. I never saw this film before. And you came with the Criterion Collection. So I look at it to learn more about His Girl Friday, actually. And the more I see this film, I kind of like it because the story in the front page is very well designed. You believe in his character, Pat O'Brien talking in here, uh, talking about Pat O'Brien character. And I, I think he's a believable, honest journalist that is looking for something different. He's gonna get married and um, his girlfriend has a job for him, waiting for him out of Chicago. That takes place in Chicago, old Chicago, of course, in the Rory Twenties, as they call. And uh, in that time and period, he's looking to get settled. He's looking for more type of a normal life, so-called normal life. And he's trying to convince him that you know, for him to stay, don't go, don't do it, don't stay right there, okay? I think it's a fascinating picture. This is the first version. The movie was nominated for three Academy Awards for Best Actor, Adolf Menjou, Best Picture, and Best Director, Lewis Milestone. Liz, Lewis Milestone was the first director to win a back-to-back -back Oscar. He won Best Director for a Comedy, only one time in the category was, uh, was uh, in 1929. Then after that category went away, and then he won Best Director for the classic, his most impressive film, All Quiet in the Western Front. Okay, now let's take a look a little bit here if I'll bring the special features. I do recommend if you want to watch this film, I, I recommend you, you do watch the film. And the supplements here, <coughs> excuse me, starring the, wrong, the front page. Fascinating documentary, <coughs> excuse me. Three versions of this film. And it was just amazing to see how the Academy found out three different versions when they decided to restore the original front page. Then we have about uh, Ben Hecht that wrote the screenplay on this, uh, for, for the play in 1928 and collaborated, I think he collaborated with this film as well because he was friend of director Lewis Milestone. And they collaborated together to put this movie together. It's brilliant, it's amazing, it's different. You gotta look at the eyes of somebody else in the 30s. You know, but it is a comedy. Here's the, here is the, the press room right now when these guys having that kind of uh, conversation. The, the, the journalist is right there, the, the newspaper man talking, comes the policeman and they make fun of him. There's much going on all the time with these guys. I like the journalists in this film than in the His Girl Friday. The press room here is much more interesting with this uh, character actors overplaying it itself. Fast talk, everybody talk on top of the other one, and uh, a brilliant screenplay. Fascinating story, more I watch this film, more I like it, okay? So I recommend the, the front page in 4K from the Criterion Collection together with His Girl Friday, which you're gonna analyze right next. Stay tuned, please. Ah, this is it. That's the absolutely classic masterpiece by Howard Hawks, His Girl Friday. He started Cary Grant, Rosalind Russell, and Ralph Bellamy. That's, of course, one of the most famous screwball comedies at all time. It's just amazing. It's, it, a lot of people already said everything about that's supposed to be said about this film. So my interpretation of this film just is another regular review. No, not much to add to an absolutely classic film. So it is the same front page story that you saw before from based on the 1931 film, which is based on the play for 1928. And this one, of course, these are the actors starring Cary Grant and Rosalind Russell again. Howard Hunt's production of His Girl Friday. Amazing 
wonderful, great story, faster than the 1931, and more focus and the relation of Walter Burns that was married with Rosalind Russell. They got a divorce. Rosalind Russell is the Hilda Johnson character now, played by her. Is a uh, twists a little bit of the story. It's more focused in their relationship than in the story of the hanging of the uh, or Williams, but also that story is there, okay? And then it takes place in the mythical kingdom and uh, of journalists, newspaper reports and all, newspaper game. When, well, once upon a time, and here starts the story, okay? Fascinating, and uh, you see the press room, everything moving. Notice from the beginning of the film, everything is gonna move constantly. The camera almost don't stop. And when it stop, there is always action going on in this film. These actors overlapping each other, somebody coming to play, that is uh, the press room right here, you know, everything busy. Of course, this movie is very well structured because it came after. That's wonderful Rosalind Rosso is stealing every single scene that she's in it. And here she comes to play, she's gonna re-encounter Walter Burns, she'll quit this job, get married Ralph Bellamy, and settle her life. The problem is that Mr. Cary Grant, Walter Burns, that's what Ralph Bellamy perfectly cast in this film. He's wonderful, he is just wonderful because he's kind of naive in here and those games they are playing each other, especially Hilda Johnson and Walter Burns, he's kind of clueless right here, but he's the good nature guy. You kind of think, well, she should be marrying him because uh, Walter Burns is such a kind of malicious character. Of course, he's playing with charm, he's playing by Cary Grant. So there she goes, she's gonna meet now Cary Grant and everybody's happy to see her again. Everybody say hello for her. She's about to quit, go away. But there's something in between that always happens in those films. And the, the and that's the connection with the front page, of course, is the same story. And there she is, coming inside his room, right now, knocking, and they start, they start talking. Okay, fascinating, let's move forward a little bit. I'm gonna also talk to you guys about the, the supplements on this film. There's not much to add to this film, really. You gotta see the special features when right here the supplements are really interesting and good. If I can put it out here, there's, of course, Ralph Bellamy sitting on the lap of Cary Grant. And let's bring the pop-up menu here, if I may. Up and away. Let's move a little bit forward. This is a restaurant scene where it took place, supposed to be shot in only two days, but because the director wants everything sinking in the scene, especially the fast pace and fast talk, they, it took four days to shoot that scene. Okay, there it comes, okay. Supplements, so I like the supplements I mentioned before from the front page, I think they're more interesting. But there is this Hawks on Hawks, and he talks about for Peter Bogdanovich and also for, I believe, Richard Schickel, and uh, director Horvath talk about this movie and about a little, a little bit about his career, but it is, it's a short documentary, it's not that long. Then I do recommend Lighting Up with Hilary Johnson uh, by David Bardwell, co-author of the film, an introduction from his Girl Friday, and he talking about how much he likes this film, and he, go in, he goes more into details about this film. I do recommend watching watch this documentary about His Girl Friday. You're gonna understand even more, because everything happens so fast. I have to watch this film and put some subtitles in it, because uh, otherwise it was hard for me to understand the, what they're talking about. Everybody talks at the same time. And I think that's the review for this film. I hope you enjoy my reviews. I'm gonna post one very soon. And there are some features right here that are just playing for His Girl Friday. Watch the, the, the small features they have in there. I think you're gonna enjoy it very much. There's not much to be said about this film. You really have to enjoy it. It's a screwball comedy, 1940. Uh, amazing, you know, fantastic film. I think everybody really enjoys this film. There's no mistakes with this one. And uh, watch the front page. Check it out the front page, the 1931 version of this film. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this mini review that I made for you guys, and I see you next time, and keep watching. And if you like this video, please put a thumbs up for me, I truly appreciate it. See you next time with the next Criterion Review.